Natural gas, or methane, provides a store of chemical energy that is released in the form of heat when it reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. The energy changes that occur in this reaction can be thought about in terms of the chemical bonds that need to be broken and formed for the reaction to take place. The bonds between carbon and hydrogen atoms and methane molecules must be broken. Likewise, the bonds between oxygen atoms and oxygen molecules must be broken. Breaking chemical bonds requires energy. In the formation of carbon dioxide and water, chemical bonds must form between carbon and oxygen and likewise between hydrogen and oxygen. When chemical bonds form, energy is released. The difference in energy, or enthalpy, between the energy required to break bonds in the reactants and the energy released when new bonds form in the products is known as delta H and is measured in joules. For the combustion of methane, delta H is minus 890.4 kilojoules per mole. This means that one mole of methane will release 890.4 kilojoules of heat when it is burned completely in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. By convention, delta H is negative for exothermic reactions, or reactions that release energy. Chemical reactions that absorb energy are called endothermic reactions and have a delta H figure that is positive. For example, the decomposition of ammonia into nitrogen and hydrogen has a delta H value of plus 46 kilojoules per mole. In this case, the energy required to break bonds between nitrogen and hydrogen atoms in ammonia is greater than the energy released when bonds form to create nitrogen and hydrogen molecules. Just because a chemical reaction is exothermic does not mean it will happen spontaneously when both reactants are present. For example, at room temperature, methane and oxygen do not spontaneously form carbon dioxide and water. For this reaction to occur, energy is required in order to break bonds in the reactants. This energy is known as the activation energy. A spark or the flame from a match can supply the energy necessary to get some molecules of methane and oxygen over the activation barrier. Some of the energy then released in the formation of carbon dioxide and water can then be recycled back into the system to start a chain reaction.